<laughs> how are you guys? Good, how are you? A little sleepy, but I should be fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> we were just talking about that. I am so sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I had the same with Elder Barge. He, um, he's in Los Angeles, so I think I had to be up at one o'clock. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's part <What>? of it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jay, um, I know you've been calling him Jalen, but Jay, Michael, good to see you. Hi, you too. <laughs> yes, yeah, so my name is Namdi. I'm out here in the UK. Um, and when I'm not doing this as a hobby, I'm a child psychotherapist uh, during the day. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. So I treat yeah under nine, under twenty ones with you know anxiety, depression, oh wow, PTSD That's and awesome. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, yes, but you know it's been great. I mean, I've I've you know I, God, I've spoken to almost seventy people. Lily was just my Christmas present from Lily was a two hour interview with her, which was great. Um, <laughs> love of Christmas, mm -hmm. but um, it's going to be great to see um, and hear about. Jay, and see um, the fact that you're coming out of your mom's shadows to forge your own kind of career. Um, but before I start, we have an international audience, and so um, it'll be great to know from both of you where you were born and raised, and so at least if the viewers can get a picture. Okay, um, well, me, um, Coco, I'm born and I was raised, born and raised in the Bronx, New York. Okay. That's where I am from. That's where you're from. But yeah. Uh, Jay, I was born in New Jersey, but I was raised in Virginia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Jay, where would you consider yourself being from? Virginia. Virginia. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> is All same, I know is Virginia. Is this, yeah. is this the same Virginia with Teddy Riley was and yes, Pharrell Virginia. and Missy and Timberland? Okay. Yep, same place. Mm -hmm. okay. We're still there. Yes, we still live in Virginia. It's still in Virginia. Uh, was I mistaken? But I thought you moved to Vegas. Uh, was, was that? Oh no, that was for college. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because okay. okay. uh, yeah, I think your mom made a whole thing. You know, almost like you were leaving for good. No, just oh, answer. Okay. So college <laughs> okay okay so i mean now that you've um you know now you, when did you decide that you wanted to get into this career when it comes of music and singing um i think i came to the realization when i was actually in college that this is something that i wanted to do um you know i've had uh auditions beforehand one audition but um I feel like that's probably when the fire kind of lit up, you know. I went on verses with my mom and made a surprise performance with her. Yeah, I told her. Yeah. Uh, um, so, you know, I've always kind of sung, you know. I've always had the music bug. It was more so I just didn't want to be in the music industry until really recently. Now, but then is, is the, it was, was there a need to be in the industry as opposed to just singing as, 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 as a hobby and, and stuff? So what was... What would you say would be the difference? Um, uh, the difference is he didn't sing as a hobby. Yeah. We didn't know that he had the voice until like uh, it was a Christmas, around Christmas. And he sang a Mariah Carey song, All I Want for Christmas. And he wanted followers on TikTok. <laughs> and he ended, up, he ended up going viral. Yeah. And I didn't even know he had the voice like that. I'm like, wait a minute. This really sounds good. And like from that point on, he would just start singing. I would hear him singing more. But yeah, it wasn't something that he would always do. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, Christmas is it this last Christmas or was a while ago? Like two Christmases ago. Two Christmases wow. ago. Yeah. But it's not, it hasn't been long at all. But then were you hiding your voice from your mom or you didn't say <laughs> what, what was the case? Um, <laughs> not necessarily hiding it. I just wasn't as comfortable singing in front of people. So I, I knew I would sing. <laughs> I knew, I knew, you know, what was there. You know, I'd sing in my room at night when nobody was awake. But, you know, um, I just wasn't comfortable singing in front of people. I was more so on the shy side when it came to that, at least. 
But then what changed the, what, I mean, what changed, because I, I, as I said, it's, it is one thing to, to, to be able to sing well, but then there's another thing to face other people, the criticism, feedback and all that stuff. Um, well, for starters, you know, when I saw people was liking it and then they was following me, I was, cause that's what, why I initially started seeing uh, okay. with, I wanted the followers on TikTok because <laughs> I had got a new page and, um, people were finding out who I was related to. So they were like, can you sing? Can you sing? So, you know, my social media side started coming out. I was like, well, if I do this, the result is probably going to be more followers. <laughs> so I posted the video and I went to sleep and on TikTok, it, it went crazy. Uh, blogs started picking it up. And um, one of the hardest things to do is to get followers from TikTok for, to go to your Instagram. And um, in result to me getting followers on TikTok, they were coming to my Instagram. So mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> but was this to promote your, your your vlog channel on youtube or what was it really for yeah um I, you know because i was just you know again my social media side so i was like this could really help in all aspects you know subscribers followers all that <laughs> the publicity is what i wanted so, <laughs> <I'm not that. laughs> but, uh, yeah <laughs> you're the son of one of the most famous r&b singers we've, we've kind of so, so how much publicity is there but but was it, but most of you wanted to, was it creating your own identity or what were you thinking about? Yeah, I really um, wanted just to create my own identity, my own name. Um, a lot of times I ref I'm referred to as Coco Sun or some people don't even know my name, which is, you know. Not anymore. Not anymore, <laughs> but, you know, uh, before I really started stepping into the line, like people didn't know my name and that really aggravated me because I'm like, you keep up my mother how many times lady post me on her instagram i don't know how many times and you still don't know my name that's like no so i was like i want my own identity so i started doing stuff to really make myself stand out so people know my name but how was it like because i i know i've seen some of these mtv stuff about you know kids getting rich kids of celebrities and stuff it's trying to step out of shoes but did you ever feel growing up though knowing your mom's success and career, did you ever feel like, you know, you couldn't live up to that or, did, or what was it like for you? Um, you know, I don't really think I thought about it like that. Um, I knew who she was. I knew what she was capable of. All I knew was that, um, whatever I ended up doing when I was older, I was going to be great. And I wanted to make a name for myself. That's something that I've always, and I've even expressed that to her when I was younger, like whatever I do in school, I want people to know me who I am, not because of who I'm related to. So mm -hmm. in school, you know, um, especially in high school, I started, you know, really dressing nice and everything like that. You know, I was known as, there were multiple Jalen's at my <laughs> high school. Um, you know, everybody had their own different thing. And I wasn't known as Jalen, the son of whoever. I was known as, oh, Jalen, he's the one who could dress. <laughs> so okay. that's, that's what I was known for in school, you know, my fashion sense. So um, just things like that. You know, I really just wanted to make, um myself being an individual and not being her shadow for the rest of my life yeah hey everyone i want to thank you for being part of halftime chats um this new update is really about our membership and i'm really excited to be able to fully launch the membership page there will be things like full interviews from day one as soon as the interview drops you get access to it without any ads on it um, there'll be some exclusive member only videos that will just be some behind the scenes stuff and some other things that we will never be broadcast. Um, for some members, you can be able to get actually two interviews because we do have, I do have a backlog of almost two or th seven or eight interviews that I don't even know when I'm going to be able to broadcast them. So you're able to get at least some of those up front and um and some some ex some just behind the scenes stuff because there's a lot of stuff that goes behind the scenes that i have never been able to 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 talk about or release um for anyone else you know what the videos will still be the same um over over a week or a week and a half or two weeks depending on how long it is um so everything stays the same the polls stay the same the community chats the community stuff stays the same but I think with the membership stuff, I'm able to add a little bit more and invest a lot more time and energy in, 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 in really supporting the members. So I do hope you come on that ride with me. I appreciate the support. 
and um, this will just help me continue to invest in taking things to the next level take care